Hey fam, this is David Roman. I'm the author and illustrator of the Eternal Horizon series. And welcome to another episode of Art with the David, where I talk about my art and art in general. In this episode, I will talk about one of my favorite video games, Final Fantasy VIII. I have several videos dedicated to Final Fantasy series. Check them out my channel, you know, some video game reviews, ranking them, whatnot. But this one is specific to my art pieces that I did. First one was when I was 17 in 1999. It's just a simple acrylic on paper, fan art, whatever. And the other one I did digitally in 2015. Now, I was so inspired by this video game. I loved it so much because I was 17, just like Squall in a, in a game, that I went and got a, my very first tattoo when I was 18 with the Final Fantasy piece I have right here. It's a CD symbol inside my sleeve piece and later on I added all stuff to it all around it but it's still there it's buried then but it's still there I was a huge Final Fantasy fan huge I mean I still rank Final Fantasy 7 as a better game overall as a better RPG but story-wise I mean nothing beats this I love this so much the Squall and Renault's love story and then later on about 15 years after I played the game, I first heard about the Renoa Ultimicia theory that uh, Ultimicia is Renoa from the future. And it was like, oh my god, it made so much sense because I remember playing the game originally and I was confused by the story. I was like, what's, what's the deal with sorcerers? But it made so much more sense. If you play this game with that knowledge in mind, I mean, I, I still haven't, but I feel like it's going to be a much greater experience. And I know some people are denying it because some artists at Squaresoft said no, that's not the case. But then again, he's an artist, he's not the creator of the game, okay? So I feel like they like... I feel like maybe they created this theory and they abandoned it. But anyway, let's talk about my pain. So this one is just a simple on paper. You know, you see how cheesy it is. And I even added a lens flare in Photoshop later as a, as a sun. But I wanted to capture the magic the, the scenery about the, uh, the outside the orphanage, that's the orphanage right there on the right hand side. I know the subject matter is all the way to the left, the sword is going off the thing, but I was 17, give me a break, all right? And uh, I love this piece so much, the waterfall especially, because, and I even used this waterfall picture in uh, my first book, in one of the illustrations for Eternal Horizon, this waterfall appears as uh, different planets. It's a different planet, Planet Orton. Check out Eternal Horizon on Amazon, by the way. So yeah, I did this piece and I'm uh, thankful that I took a picture of it because I cannot find her anymore. I don't know what happened to it. It's probably, I don't know, my parents' house somewhere. I got to dig through. But, uh, you know, I decided to revisit the story once I've heard about the theory and I painted this piece called I'll Be Your Knight, which is a line that Squalls tells Renoa when when, you know, they're talking, he's like, even if you go bad, I'll be your knight. This is why, you know, I still believe in the theory, because I believe in the future, Renoa goes bad, a squall becomes her knight, and then, like, she loses her memory, she decides to come back to the past when they were happy, and find them, blah, blah, blah. That's why the whole game had this confusing beginning. But that's neither here or there. I'm going to try to play it later on to prove the theory. But here's a piece that I did. I decided to include Cypher on one side, Squall on the other side, Renoa in the middle, and you know, she's uh, becoming the sorceress, and then finally Ultimatia at the end, you know, at the top of me, with her claws. And the whole background piece, it's the Griever. It's Squall's Griever. So yeah, that's my Final Fantasy pieces. I mean, I love Final Fantasy. Whenever Final Fantasy comes out, it's like, I have to stop everything and play. Like, I, I just got my uh, PlayStation 5 this year, I waited till Final Fantasy 16 came out. I got the whole bundle. It's a great game. I wouldn't say, man, it doesn't really compare well to the other Final Fantasy, but it's a fantastic game. You should definitely play it. Uh, that's it for this episode. This is a short, quick episode about my video game fan art. Please subscribe. Check out Eternal Horizon on uh, Amazon if you like, uh, if you love the original Star Wars, 80 sci fi Flash Gordon. If you're watching this on TikTok, please follow. And I'll see you guys next time.